I'm a little tired, but That's of the, That's oh, the now I see you. Okay, uh, uh, I'm sending. Wait, Please. I mean, we're all post. Sending. We'll send, we're send, send, send now, now. Send yeah. now, guys. Send yeah, now. Yeah. It's yeah, time yeah. to send. Okay, I'm done. You're I'm done? faster. Well, if you're, if, you know, if, if you're done, then you know what we're gonna do just for fun. We're gonna do this. This is two O F Entertainment. We are live and here. Hello, and guys. And the fan How are you doing? Is, fan is yeah. excited. So it's mostly like say fan. On all our shows, I just say fan. You only really have one fan. They just have a hundred thousand computers and they just watch them on all their computers. The bots, you know. Yeah. The bots. AI bots. We actually yeah. don't have it's any just... of those. We should probably get some, but we don't. We are all our all our fan. I was just one click at a time. It's, a, it's <laughs> unfortunate. It's the unfortunate thing that you called it the 3D printing. Because that's right. the one thing that he does. He doesn't print 3D. I know, but cool. he says what he wants no. to talk about. Oh, he wants to talk about 3D printing. Yeah, you know, if you, you know what? You no, guys, I have to tell you. I am, I am very, I'm very fascinated because the last week, yeah. every day I'm reading and watching videos, and my new passion is 3D printing. Before I even wow. start doing it. Wow. Because okay, you know me about 3D, and you know for. For a long time, there were people and collectors and galleries and people in general and fans uh, saying, why don't you 3D print? Right. But, you know, 3D printing was for many years pain in the ass. I mean, you have to be very yeah. patient. It's, right. it's, have you tried? Have you tried any, any, any of you? I, yeah. I've tried to print a th I've tried to print a 3D woman once, and apparently they that's only go in some countries. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you know, no, I have not tried she, 3D printing. Issue. Well, guys, now that you know the technology is running very fast in every uh, aspect, in every specialization and everything, and they are now the 3D printers and everything that is going on around them has, has gone in, I mean, very, very, very far now. And okay. it's much easier. Uh, the, the prices for the printers are much, much lower now for, for much better quality, right? Now right. you can you can actually buy a, a printer for three hundred, and uh, in fifteen minutes you can start printing. Yeah, you should. And do it's it. and they're, and it's going. They're rubbish. Well, no, no, not not the rubbish. If you go, I, I don't know. Yeah, can you say uh, uh, the, the 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 brands the or something? The layers don't close properly. They because uh, I have a really good friend. Uh, I've got a whole box of three D stuff here, actually. Which is quite strange. I have a friend who uh, who's into three D printing. And right. He's tried all. He tried a really cheap one, and he said, "No, you know, a thousand plus, unfortunately, thousand plus euros." And then you then you then you've got stuff that you've actually uh, that is that you can use for other things. If you're just making, you know, models, t t toy soldiers or whatever, like people do, and paint them, great. But if you want to use it as spare parts, that he uses it for spare parts for building computers. Um, you need to spend at least a thousand euros. Ah, okay, but, uh, yeah, it, it, look, it, 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 yeah, exactly. It depends on what what you. The, first, first of all, there are two categories, and uh, I've been I've been talking all day almost with a friend of mine, which I want to thank if he's watching, uh, because I'm uh, I, I I I don't know almost anything, but okay, this week I learned a lot, and I saw a lot of reviews, and they can be you know uh bought or uh, you know just just promotion because and i read a lot of stuff in on on uh, reddit and everything i'm going to buy not the cheapest i'm going to buy one a little better okay. but uh, the whole thing it'll cost me like uh, 900 that's about a thousand euro though it's the same thing david said gotta buy a good one yeah yeah, yeah but uh, it's it's black it's black uh, friday so Oh no! It's, it's, it's Cyber Monday. Black Friday was a couple. Yeah, days. 
Yeah, 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 it's the same. It's it's the same. <laughs> yeah, means means you're gonna pay too much uh, when you could have bought cheaper yesterday. There you go. There you go. So wait a minute. So what are you gonna use your 3D printer for? Like I said, now David uses his for the adult toy store that we have at Hilda's House of Pain to make you know phallics for people. Um, what are you gonna use yours for? Uh, for art. What else? No, thank you. I appreciate that. What, kind of what you want me to tell you? What I'm gonna? How I'm gonna use it? Uh, well, I have a lot of ideas because okay. look, for example, I want to do like a combination with two D and three D. Like okay. in many of my works, for example, you can you can see some parts of hands and uh, legs or or that. So I'm going to to make a mixture between. I don't know if it's going to be painted uh, or, okay. uh, or 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 two D printed or um, or I'll see okay. or or a collage, but parts of it will be like sculptures, and I want to try this, and I think it's a good oh, idea, great. and it fits my work. Now I'm saying you know ideas which I shouldn't, but I don't care. I can say them because well, they're just ideas. From, from theory to ideas. practice, yeah. there's always yeah. a big difference. I mean, if you get if you get if your three D printer breaks down. Go and buy a banana. I mean, because that's going to be... Well, uh, to, do, to do banana, you, you, your name has to be like uh, Catalan. It's very famous blue chip yeah. artist. So, <laughs> so it doesn't matter if it's... A, if it's if it's You know, uh, we, we, uh, have we, we've been talking about it last time, or no? Yeah, we yeah. talked about the banana yeah, last yeah, time. Yeah, the guy yeah. actually oh, ate it. Yeah. He actually ate it on stage a couple weeks. A couple days uh, ago. He he's not the first to do it, but you see, uh, with this work, there's always a promotion so that people talk about right. it. The more you right. talk now, any kind of uh, um, promotion or talking about advertise it's advertisement. If it's black right. or white or is it good or bad things. It's it's if you talk about something, so people yeah. are talking about it, they are biting it and making it more yeah. popular and more popular, you know. Well, and, I think uh, it's, a, it's a good good thing for the banana industry. I mean, I saw some guy this morning who was who was testing the speed of a Tesla, and he put a banana on the chair next to him and put his foot down in the Tesla, and the banana stayed there. And he said, "Look, this is what the this is the G force." Uh, that you get from the acceleration in a Tesla, and it will make it will stop this banana from falling. So bananas, bananas are the new, you know, the new thing these days. It would seem as if, as if nobody ever discovered bananas before. But like they're everywhere. You can buy them in shops and everything. I've seen them. Well, I, I will, I will, I will print a banana. Okay, uh, and beside the three uh, D uh, printing, uh, 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 you know, you know how it started actually because okay, I wanted to, uh, you know, to get to get into this. Uh, I, I firstly bought. I don't have them yet. I wait. I wait for them because it's it was uh, black. Are you talking about the banana or the or the three D printer? You don't have the banana. No, no, no. My my first idea was a three D scanner actually. Oh, okay. So, so that I can scan, you know, myself, my uh, people, etc. So it becomes a little more uh, personal now, because my art was. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I've been having, you know, uh, a lot of research about those, and w okay. you have great, great uh, prices now, also with those. And I'm talking about. Uh, not the worst, uh, um, you know, 3D scanners. Uh, really, really good scanners now, right. with really precision and everything. So, so precise that you cannot even print it yet. So, but I'm going to use them also in my 3D artworks, you know, the digital very works. Cool. And we'll get to see them here. So they'll be very excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think now, that we will, uh, in time, we will talk about yeah. it a little. Huh. And uh, some pros and cons, so maybe it will turn. I think it's going to be a great passion for me, I this. Did. I did. Because now, I, I start to think in the 3D printing, you know, because yeah. I never, you have to have it, you know, to start to know it a little, because right. I, I don't know shit about this thing. You, but, can, you can buy 3D printers to, for food as well. You can print your own food. Food? Yeah, yeah. printing is like a, a, well, you can print you can print a house. To be honest, you know, you can print yeah. ceramics. You can do many things. Three D yeah. printing is a revolution. It's a, it's a new it's a whole new un universe. You know. Yeah. Let me just say, let me just say this before we go too far down on the three D printing and body scanning. First of all, because Vicky's in North Korea and can't join us. Still, um, still, oh she will be there until the end of the year. Until I think the beginning of the year. But her brother is. Ah, she's having her. fun. But see, her brother's about to join her on Love Island. 
which is wrong in so many ways. Um, and I know she's watching and she's not going <laughs> to chime in. So I can literally say whatever I want. She'll kill me next year. So Vicky, you should get a 3D printer and you can body scan your brother and you can take the body scan to Love Island and you can save some money. Yeah. So there you go. Or she could, Vicky, or she could body, body you if she's body scanning all those Korean guys. Well, I then mean, she, uh, she has a she, perfect husband. Yeah, it's like it's like a it's like a bog off, isn't it? You know, you buy one get one free because they're not very yeah. tall. Yeah. So you can print a whole load of them. <laughs> because you get three D printer. Okay. Now back to the seriousness yeah. of three D printing. Um, yeah. So they three D print them in Long Island, which is New York for those people that don't know. Um, they three D printed a beautiful house. I think it cost like two hundred grand. Um, and it would be and like the guy said, if we were going to build this like a normal house. You know, it cost a million, but really what the guy said, it cost about $20,000 in 3D printing supply and then whatever the labor is. And then, you know, then you have to do, I guess, whatever else. So he said, you know, you could build yourself a, a beautiful mansion for a couple hundred thousand um, and yeah. have sustainable housing. And I will tell you the pictures wow. I saw of it and the video I saw of it, I would live there. It was gorgeous. It was like four or 5,000 square feet, which is like 400 square meters um beautiful yeah yeah but 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 you know you have you have the ability uh, to create new designs that were yes. not easy to build like uh, you know the boxes in general our houses are right. boxes but with this uh, printing you can do a lot of stuff and it's on it's not, it, it's a whole revolution guys it's it's not only 3d printing not only scanning there's also and uh, laser engravings yeah i mean you can cut stuff on wood on on different kind of uh, materials and I saw also like uh, uh, engravings on stones also. Yeah. I mean, crazy stuff. People, it's, it, yeah, you can do stuff for the dead people because they're going to appreciate it. So yeah. For the dead people. Well, yeah, well, you yeah. said engraving on stone, dead people, you know, tombstone, never mind. Well, uh, <laughs> about dead people, I was, I, I had to, I, I had to post it today oh. because I read something. Talking so of it's people. Talking of dead people. Yeah, yeah to, to, talking about dead people. Uh, I do not fear death. I had been dead for billions and billions of years before I was born and That's had Einstein. not suffered the slightest inconvenience from it. Mark Twain. Oh, Einstein said the same thing. <laughs> Einstein said, I've been dead a billion years before and I'll be dead a billion years. Well, before. I think Twain was, I don't know, but Twain was before those guys. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who said it, but it's right. I mean, we've been dead. Yeah, but the truth is, because we are Not also really entering dead. my other passion, the philosophy stuff, is that right. uh, there is a difference uh, that being dead before life and after life. So that's true. That is very <laughs> true. Well, let's, let, let's hope that your 3D printer doesn't die on you halfway that's through. That's true. Because... So when are you getting your uh, your new toy so we can all see the 3D? I don't know, like uh, 10 days, 10 days, 15 10 days. days. Where do you yeah. live? In the middle of nowhere? Oh, that's right. You do live in the middle. Of I nowhere. live in the yeah. middle of nowhere. That's true. <laughs> that's a hard uh, a, 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 a local. The biggest expense for the people that I know that have 3D printers, and if anybody listening has a 3D printer and wants to chime in on comments, feel free. But the biggest expense that I know on 3D printers is, is the refills. The ink, I don't. I, I know it's not ink. I'm just going to call it ink. The cartridges that have your what your your printing material those are the big i think those are the big ones there was a guy well, you can buy, yeah the prices have come down considerably i think because you bother by kilo now you yes you can bother by kilo they're, they're right. they are quite um it's not that expensive if you if you okay. print in P, pla the, the standard material that that is used right. because look i didn't know the richness and the variety of materials that you can print. There are other which are more hard, but you have to change the noodles. I think the the the, 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 the thing, yeah, that okay. that prints because yeah, it depends on the printing. Well. You have to clean, keep it clean. You, there are different sizes. If you want more um, detail, you put a smaller one. But it doesn't work with some materials, you know, right. stuff like that. Or my friend also told me that uh, if you have, if if you live in a place that it's uh, quite uh, humid, you need right. also a, a special uh, box to to make them dry, you know. Oh, so yeah. th is there a lot of a lot of stuff that I'm going right. to learn? I already, you know, theoretically know them, so okay. I'm eager to to see them uh, in action. And there is another thing, actually, that I was thinking. Okay, I, I will tell you because what else else I would do? Uh, reliefs. I will do reliefs also. This is a great stuff because I have a lot of models that I 
mm-hmm. in my uh, works already right, that right. I uh, kind of melt them so they're yeah. going to be reliefs and I want to try to try those also and it's, they're going okay. to be great uh, but, but I need well, because I want them bigger and you know they don't print very big you have to right. uh, slice it into pieces and then add them together like uh, right. like a puzzle in a way okay. But it's fascinating. It's uh, really, uh, uh, I didn't know that the richness of the of the of this universe. I, I really didn't know it. But can but I it's. Put, but, can I put in my first order? I'd like to have a statue, a little mini statue of you, as an artist. We have to we have to the, scan you. We have to scan you. Yes, of course. Well, I'll, I'll print you if I have no, a scan no, of you. No, not me. Statue of you, oh, not him. him. Ah, you want a statue statue of me? No, you no, mean no, the no, whole no, body no, or uh, the no, face? No, <laughs> that's a little kinky. Yeah, that's a little uh, kinky. Uh, I'm just saying. One of those sort of Barbie sized things. That's a lot of plastic. Oh, okay. Have. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Sure. Your fans would love that, wouldn't you? Your fans would love to have, uh, you know, have you as the, the ultimate. Well, they will have, well, they will have, because the, the, the first model on those that I'm saying, it will be me. I've already yeah. thought, because, you know, when I, when I get in something, the ideas come like this to me. Uh, all the time i have like a thousand ideas now the last week my mind is you know and i want to have them now but i have to wait okay i it's a practice for patience for me also but okay but you but i have also other works to do so that the the people it's it's going back to the to the photocopying times it came back to you know like cartridges going into into printers the, the the three well, and and, and very, in very in its very simplest form toilet roll holders because what they do is a toilet roll holder you put toilet roll in and it eats toilet roll and that's where the money is so the money will be in the plastic you will be forever buying plastic kilos and kilos and kilos of it because you know the first ones are going to be not good yeah and you change your idea etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's how they make the money. They make the money on, you know, on the product that's let let's say that gets eaten. Yeah, yeah. This is the same in the classical pr- printing, the two D on the paper that yeah. we do. They they sell the, the pigments, the pigments. Yeah. I, I mean, I have a big, uh, you know, uh, printer, which is nothing comparing to the pigments that I buy all the time because one pigment and and oh, it, yeah. and it's got uh, twelve of them, and you know, wow. and we have to. I was printing today for for some clients and. Uh, yeah, and uh, and I was looking at it and I said, "Oh, you're gonna have a brother now, <laughs> an advanced <laughs> brother." <laughs> this is very exciting that you're gonna get into 3D. So when you ship your art now, it's not gonna be rolled in a tube; it's gonna be uh, an event. Well, I'm shipping it anyway because the uh, the, the prints, the edition prints, are in the tube. The right, the I'm big guys that, like this not- one, yeah, the yeah. big guy like this one, it's it's always in a crate. Well, or you could tube it and then they just frame it when it gets to wherever it's going. But what I was going to say well, is you with, could, your 3D, with your 3D art now, it'll have to Yeah, be but my the, originals, uh, originals are diasec. You cannot tube, tube them. Those yeah, are plexiglass okay. stuff and you have to have yeah. a crate and it's very heavy. But uh, yeah, you have to... You, have you, to can, uh, you can send them separately, you know, like so that, that uh, so people could actually, you know, as part of the art experience, Actually, yeah, I, I was I was thinking about this too because you know when when you have a hand going outside of the artwork yeah. to the artwork, right. you can actually think a, a way to 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 because it's it's really hard to to to, to box it. What yeah. it's it, it can break, and yeah. it, those are uh, those are easy to break. You have to right. take care of them. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll find a way you know to to for the people to to for the clients to stick to to like take a part into it. And maybe they can also change, you know, other kind of hand. Now, now I'm thinking. You see, there are new ideas all the time that are coming. It's like it's like, like Lego, this. On, Lego on steroids. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a it's a different thing. I was always in 3D, but I was never in in the real 3D in real uh, life. Let's say right. not in a digital life in the real. Life. We'll see well, now. I spent a weekend watching a net build uh, building this paper kit of the Bush Kaliba. In uh, in Dubai, yeah. so yeah. it's all already printed, but it comes on these 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 sheets of cardboard, which you have to press out, and then you have to make these buildings. So, yeah, and and she said, oh, you could buy everything, you know, because they're all into all her and her kids, and they're all into Lego, 
but um, you know, you could buy paper Bush Khalifa for I think about what she pay about twenty bucks, something like that. You buy a Lego one, it's one hundred and twenty bucks. Well, because it's Lego. I basically I was at the at the at the Khalifa. And I went to the top floor, and just to let you know, uh, it's it's in there very nice, but uh, you won't get the same view if you built one, unless it's going to be tall. Yeah, just, well, she'd um, been a, she'd been herself, so it's like okay, so yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I will tell you, it, going it's to that, yay high. I mean, like the other buildings yeah. on this thing are this big, and yeah, right, it, and then, it's like yeah. off the screen, literally. So, well, we went to the hundred. I want to see the hundred and sixty-seven, whatever the top floor you can go to for the, the. We did the VIP thing where they feed you and bathe you and the whole nine yards. And when you go, it's just fascinating to see it. And then you go outside and the wind and whatever, and you're just like, wow. I mean, that's it's truly a um a that is a work of art. I don't I don't think they three D printed that, but that is truly a work of art in my mind. Well, they sort of did because they had to build it in sections, of course, because right. gravity is your biggest enemy. Well, that's the know, reason. Only if that's you're, you know, big, yeah. Only if you're yeah, Mason's no, Day float. So you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, but, but I mean, now just, they're going to build a big. They're going to build a big loop around it, apparently, and they're going to make that loop like a space age loop because the uh, the king of um, UAE is afraid that people are going to lose their interest in the uh, the Khalifa because it's just a big tall building. So they're going to build something yeah. else. So there you go. Yeah, all the time when he's oh, there. Another one, you know. So, yeah. um, take it all on. Bigger, better. But it's the same, like, yeah, it actually is 3D printing. Because, yeah. But tell me something. Is Dubai, yeah. is Dubai, but I haven't been there. Is Dubai like kind of uh, Middle East Las Vegas or something like yes. that? That's, that's the, okay. you know, that is the perfect way to describe it is if you, it's just, it's just Las Vegas on steroids. But on sand. But with, with that being said, it's the safest place to be. Um, I think I've yeah, told yeah, the story. Yeah. Well, we were out at like two or three in the morning coming back from um, the Four Seasons, the Winston Churchill Club smoking cigars. And we were just walking and we bumped into these three or four girls and they had their, you know, their half a million dollar handbag, diamonds. And I mean, like, you know, like the one girl could have bought a small village. Um, and so I said to them, because we're all waiting for the traffic light, because you don't cross against the light, you get tickets. I said, do you feel safe? I go, you know, we're just idiot Americans. We don't know. Do you feel safe at two or three in the morning? And the girl's like, this is like the safest city in the world. She goes, we've never been bothered. Um, and I asked our driver the next day and he says, oh yeah, there's like drones all over and there's this and there's that and blah, 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 blah. And literally, as he said that these two cars collided in the middle of the intersection and within 30 seconds, 30 seconds, there was a drone covering doing oh. what it needed to do giving instructions on what to do and then the police showed up and i was like okay safe city i mean and if you're okay and i'm okay with that like i'm okay that there's cameras in every corner and blah 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 blah, blah. Um, i think there's cameras in your bedroom which was good because i was performing and i i got a lot of fans and i'm on onlyfans.com no i'm just kidding um so but it was very cool to see that and know that like the, the people showing videos of them leaving their phone on a table or their handbag on a table and yeah. going and coming back. No, no problem. Um, like I saw this one girl leave her handbag when I was first there years ago. And I was like, man, man, she's like, no, no, it's okay. I was like, all right. And so, yeah. And it was like, now I go there and I leave stuff on the table and I go do something and I come back and I don't have a concern, whether it's money, a wallet, a phone, it's very safe. Well, and, and that so. uh, made me laugh because she said, while they were walking down at the docks, um and it was all these oh, the marina sort of, the marina yeah, not yeah. the docks the marina well, well the, 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 it was the docks because the, all of these refrigerators were all on the key you know all yeah. being ready to uh you know to be go somewhere else you know picked up by somebody right and she said well you know because she's uh, we live very 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 near to rotterdam she said well if that was happening in rotterdam they'd all have been gone you know you'd have turned yeah. around and there would be in a there'd be in a truck somewhere on the way to on the way to Eastern Europe, but uh, yep. nothing. She said, and you go past these yep. shops, gold in the windows everywhere, mm -hmm. no security, nothing, mm -hmm. you know, just no, here everything is all buttoned down. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. She, yeah, she said, that's, 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 that's the way it should be everywhere. I mean, yeah, and, and the only, to, the only, you have the to only issue, sure. right? Well, not listen, it's no more expensive than living in New York City. Okay, I mean, like it's this. It's, no, I mean, no more for some people, I meant more socially. You have to pay for it. I mean, you're happy. I don't. I don't mind CCTV TV cameras. I got nothing. Yeah, yeah I don't care that there's camera. I mean, I will say that you know, being from New York, we don't wait for the for the little red guy. 
to show no, up. And there's the white and red guy. We just walk. Like, there's no traffic. And when we were about to do that, with someone we were with that was from UA, from Dubai, was like, no, no, you're going to ticket for that here. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So in my mind there, I know I have to wait for the little red man um, before I can actually cross the street. Um, but other than that, people are respectful. They're nice. We went into old Dubai, um, which is which looks like, you're like, ooh, I could see the difference between old Dubai and new Dubai. Um, and not an issue walking down the street to go to um, an Iranian restaurant, the oldest one in Dubai, like 1978. Great food and not a problem. Um, but so, yeah, so I don't I don't have a problem with the with the security or the big brother aspect of it. I'd rather be safe. Um, traffic, though, and, and horrendous. Um, if, if to go a couple kilometers could take you a while. Uh, it is like they, I, I think when they planned, they knew they were going to be something. But I think they, 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 they're, they're a few lanes shy. But now they're coming out, I think, in 2026 with um, flying taxis that are going to be available that can go and, and bypass traffic. Yeah. So well, maybe, maybe that that'll said, be 3D printed as well, you know? 3D I'm sure they will. So yeah. so, yeah. So, yeah. So, well, Adam, if you ever get a chance, go and do Dubai. Um, they'll, they'll oh, I guess I will. I will for an exhibition or something for sure. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I had some propositions, but never. They, we never agreed on on some stuff yeah. because. Uh, you, uh, you know, much. my problem is also with those guys is that uh, I had an experience with uh, Arab people. I had an exhibition in, um, I don't remember the name of the hotel, but they had a gallery down. It was in mm -hmm. Paris. It was uh, at the center. It was very expensive, called one of the most expensive. But it's owned by uh, people from uh, Arabic people. I don't know which country exactly. Uh, maybe, right. maybe from... Uh, uh, from Dubai, from uh, uh, United Arab Emirates, right? UAE, yeah. Right, right. yeah, yeah. And uh, you know that m many of my works have got uh, naked people and stuff like that. I said, mm -hmm. no naked people at all. Like, all right. like, uh, so, and, no so, so we had, so I had to choose only from some works that I had there. And this is uh, limited for me. It's limiting yeah. for me. And, uh, yeah. but okay, now I have different kind of works also. And the 3D printing, yeah. I will put some nudity, of course, but on the other hand, you know, I will not. There are some works yeah. like that. And well, maybe uh, maybe uh, have the, the news will all be 3D printed and you can add them if you want to, and then that uh, opens up all sorts yeah. of things for you. you know? yeah, we'll I, see, I, we'll like see, guys. I need to try, you know, first and everything. Yeah. But but I'm I'm really fascinated and I'm really, you know, it's 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 crazy stuff. It's you can mix colors now, you can 3D print with colors, mm -hmm. you can actually you can actually make paintings like this, like what I have here. You can 3D print right. it with different colors, right. and yeah. and it, it will it will have you know a little uh, relief. Right. And, and it's, yeah, and have yeah, 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 yeah. And it's it's really crazy. Okay, so next That's time cool. we'll be interview. Next time we'll be interviewing a 3D printer then, and you'll you'll be off somewhere well, else. Well, we we need to get a, a, acquainted to to that first. So and it's not well, going to be well, something that is going to coming, happen. It's coming in 10 days. So it won't be there until the 12th of December. Yeah, but you know to that to print a, a hand like this, you know, need like 20 day. hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 Say, if you days. want if you want really really good which I want, you know, right. the really good quality and and detail uh, and uh, but we'll see. Now, Maybe we'll later we'll take another yeah. one we'll see. Which printer did you buy? Is there a specific brand name that you bought, or? Yeah, can I say it? I don't know. Is Why it? A... I don't care. Yeah, maybe okay. I'll give you a free one. Maybe well, I'll give it's, you a free one. Uh, it's it's no no they are not. <laughs> maybe later when I will start they will give me you no know, for uh, because I am an influencer. I have been testing and yeah. uh, uh, they, they send me products. So so I test from time to time. Uh, yeah, this this is one of the most famous and the most. Uh, um uh the most known probably for quality yeah. printers it's called ba bamboo bamboo yes yeah, so and I, and i'm buying a bamboo lab p1s okay. and uh, th this is this is the one with the ams uh, technology which is the with the different kind of colors that you can mix Oh, wow. so you can okay. start like uh, with this color then you can mix a different one it's 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 a uh, it's more complicated. It's, it's kind of new one technology. Okay. I think with one year or something, and uh, uh, and it's closed. It's a box. Okay. Uh, it's not too big. It's only 26, 26, 26 the volume. 
Okay. But as I, as I said, you you need if you want something big, you you need to 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 learn to slice it, to, 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 yeah. you know, and then add them together. Yeah. So, uh, but it's now, an interesting, print, it's an interesting for me. But it's already really really good. So, so this print, is the this is a bamboo printer, but it's the like scanner bamboo, is like the bamboo like a stick, right? Uh, B B A M B U. That's, oh, bamboo. Oh, it's not bamboo. it's not bamboo with double double O at the end bamboo. Uh, okay. And the scanner is from uh, Cre uh, Cre Cre Life. Okay. I don't remember. Wait, wait a second. I don't remember the Cre. Yeah. So when you Cre Creality, it's 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 from Creality. That's that's the name of the company, Creality. When you're, when you're gonna print something, do I have to scan it or can I type in my laptop? what i want or if i'm like i want to scan my pen i put my pen through the scanner and then it prints me a 3d version of my pen yes yeah, so you have to you have to put it on a, a okay. turntable or it depends on the scanner there's a turntable okay. it's a table that turns so you scan it and it's looking around like this All right. and i saw the software it's got you know the um, it, it's telling you go a little further or closer you okay. know with colors if it's red it's okay perfect if it's red you have to closer or something like that you need for smaller uh, uh objects like this for example you need two three minutes to do it okay. uh, there are some limitations like um uh, you cannot uh, scan something that is uh, glass like transparent it's okay. very hard you need okay. to, to to use some spray uh, that makes it like kind of opaque Okay. Uh, it's it's they have depending on the on the scanner uh, they have uh, hard times with the black materials also. Okay. We'll so it. shiny okay. shiny black materials and uh, transparent they have a little problem with that. Hmm. Okay. But besides that, I think it's it's pretty. pretty I, I've seen some heads scanned, and guys, okay. it's perfect. It's really perfect. Well, I mean. Now, if you're from the United Kingdom, they can't because you're translucent, so they can't scan you. You <laughs> so totally got this. So people from London, uh, you can just scan it. Got it. So and it David can. Of, He's not that translucent. Is that right? David gets a little color every now and then when he goes. Yeah, out, and that makes him go yeah. out. Based, because of the, of well, many I'm years half, in 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 the Netherlands. Yeah, well, I'm half Dutch. I'm half Dutch now, so that's me. Too. Yeah, exactly. You scan and the half only scan, the other half is. Right. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but, cool. but even, you know, when it misses some parts of you, it's, for me, because I, I, I always look uh, with, with the eyes of fine art, I like right. it because it's not, I like you know, the non finito thing, you know, not everything. It depends, it depends on what you want to do. So, uh, that's right. Really cool. Those, I'm those, yeah, it's guys. It's I, I thought that these things they cost like five thousand, but it with to. one with one and a half yes, but one and a half thousand you can have both of them, and everything you need to start everything, and uh, you can you can make money from this guys with you well, know like if artist, you have good ideas kind of your, and that's kind of your yeah. Thing. So are you going to buy? I'm looking at the bamboo. Are you buying the um the um the, the printing material from bamboo as well? Yeah, for the starters, yeah. You know, I'm I'm okay. buying everything from the bamboo from the starters, and later I will, okay. you know, style and experiment with uh, other, maybe cheaper, well, maybe other. Okay. We'll see. Well, we'll go, see because you know I don't want to downgrade the quality never uh, in any right. kind of work that I do. So, so you got the I, did you get you got the bamboo lab X one C I take it. Uh, P one S. Oh, the P1S. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, they're having their bamboo Black Friday sale, which ends on Friday apparently. But anyway, Dave's a girl. Yeah. Here no, it, it, it's it's today. That's what I. Yeah, it um, ends today. Gotcha. But yeah, there's a girl with headphones that it looked like I don't know a fish or a rat with wings. Um. So yeah, so it's very very cool what you can do. Yeah. With yeah. If you're creative, well, my, I am not creative. So you, I there's no way I'm going to do this. But but you know something. And everything. Yeah. There are solutions. Computer. And um, and which is sort of half finished here, but in the meantime, he said, "I'm oh. going to build you a little three D printer, Dad, so you can have that as well." Uh, you see? See? 
That's a mini, 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 mini well, computer. A mini computer, and he'll put all the parts in it when he's finished building the big one. But it's a, it's is a very it good work? print. It's a very good print. Yeah. Is, is that going to work, or is that just a model? No, no, it's a, uh, it's just. No, a it's model. a model. Oh, okay. I mean, I got excited. I, w I went to the Renault Formula One uh, factory in the UK, and they were yeah. building uh, engines, three D, three D printing engines, because it was cheaper. Just to wow. see whether all the components would fit and everything. So that's a big part of the, you know, a lot of industrial background for a long, long time. Okay. Yeah. I got into 3D printing about five, six years ago, and that's another story. That's but, very uh, cool. But what you were yeah, saying, so Stephen, it's that you don't have to be, you know, so creative because you can actually, there are some software that you actually take right. a photo, a photo like yeah. the one that you have, like David, that you are both of you. You know, right. which, which, by the way, I like it very much. <laughs> I saw which it one? some one, the what, the one oh, that is behind one. David, that you are half oh, one is one, you that, and the yeah, other one. So that was done by um just a, a, a guy who has an art show on our channel called Rusty's Art. He did it Rusty. as a uh, yeah yeah. It's very it's very, nice. yeah. it's very nice. It's very nice. Half is David and half is me. The good looking side yeah. is me. Um, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> but we didn't yeah, know. We know the we one with the glasses. Didn't. That's we David. didn't know that he was going to print. We didn't know what was under. We knew there was a face, but we didn't know what we were. We were, yeah. It, it was a bit of a well moment. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So actually, you can take this picture. You can yeah. put it in a software that it's called, but you have to buy it for for. You can buy it for a lifetime. I think uh, three hundred fifty or something like that, and yeah. this will create a relief from the photo. So it will be three D, oh, wow. and yeah, you can also add the colors, and it will create. Uh, painting uh, like 3d relief painting you you can do this with the ai uh, images that you create so there are wow. so many solutions you don't i mean you don't have to be like me you know right well you, no you do don't you don't have to model your own stuff because it, okay i'll be scanning but i'll be adding also my stuff you know from my uh, 3d application that i do because i, the, I know model i do i do studio is an open source cutting in featuring software blah 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 did you have to pay for the baidu soft or the ba bamboo software studio or does that come with it? no 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 those are uh, free they are coming with okay. and there is so an, cool. another one that is called slicer i think which oh, is that's the most one. okay the idea, yeah. the idea behind uh, it is those are open finding, source, I think. finding out so much stuff about these uh, about these printers when they're using them that right. a lot of the hardware people said, like, we'll make it open source because people could continuously keep say, well, try this, try that. And it's a lot cheaper for them to give you open source software and build a community around the software and around right. the hardware because, yeah, it's, it's the hardware for them, not so much the software. Yeah. It, and it's the, actually what you said the 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 the, the materials they yeah. sell yeah. from the materials i think yeah, yeah. because so the materials are, are non-stop you know used yeah. oh, non -stop. They are. and you because and you can and so, keep the and so are the printers you have a little electric glitch and it will stop or it'll put uh you know it, it won't it won't it won't clean print something will happen halfway through and you get a little <laughs> in it so you have to throw it away and start again uh yeah it's um so but but this is this this is the classical 3d printing but there's another one i didn't know about that and it's called right. resin uh, printer right. this is different technology this is much more detailed but uh, it involves resin which is toxic so you need to you know have a mask and okay. you know you need to but i saw the result it's very good for mini miniatures that's excellent uh, detail and i can't believe yeah. the detail there. Well, people. Are, I mean, I know a lot of people who, who war game as well, and they've been printing because they used to go and buy the buy all the, the armies and stuff, which cost an absolute fortune. Right. Um. And and a lot of people like to you know make their own regiments and like to have their own colours for themselves. So they and also a lot of fantasy gamers, and they they three D uh three D, uh three D print uh, all these figurines. And it's, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, I, you know, like, I, and they feel totally liberated. It's incredible. So like, oh, I could do everything, you know, like, oh, I've got this idea in my head about this special monster and, you know, I want, you know, oh, so, all right. Yeah, you can do. download a lot of the models, you know, or you yeah. can buy some. It's yeah. one guy, I saw one guy who did, he asked, you know, uh, people, what do you want me to print and everything like that. And uh, uh, someone said, print a real size Shaquille O'Neal. And oh, they wow. voted for this. So he, you know, sliced, he took uh, many, many parts and he built a really, really big Shaquille O'Neal. 
It was really, oh, wow. really great. I don't know. It took him like a month or something like that to print. Yeah. But he did it. Yeah, <laughs> he has, know, he has a big... About five years ago, we had a, uh, I built a, a site for a friend of mine, and we just, we just were sort of, you know, it was a place to get all your 3D printing patterns and 3D printing software so people could download them. But yeah, but, it, uh, it, it, you know, five years ago, the material that you were buying, this, uh, this, these plastics were horrendous in price. And, you know, and, uh, and but the hardware's got better and better, like everything. So the price yeah. has dropped to a reasonable level. So but guys, it's really price unbelievable price. what's going on with technology in general, yes. right? I, I mean, agree. AI and stuff like that. And if you communicate and if you are a, a guy who is really interested in then practical and you you like to say it's it's heaven for you now yeah. i mean it's 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 really great from from this point of view our uh, 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 the time is is really great that's that's yeah. for sure technology that's in the next five years you won't even recognize the technology whether it's 3d printing yeah. AI or whatever there'll be you can you'll, you'll be able to buy a 3d printer and probably print your own car yeah, I think it's so. It's going to be like, I'll just print yeah. my own car and I have an engine delivered and you put the engine in and you're good and you take it somewhere. And and of course, now there are also the big, big, uh, which I don't know how they are called. They are C, uh, C, CNC or something, C, C, something like that. But now okay. I'm talking about printers, which are actually that you can, you have a marble, big marble, and you want to create a sculpture. Okay. Yeah. And you put the model there and it's doing all everything and it's, but it's printing wow. you, you can do it in metal, it can do it in wow. uh, ceramic, it can do it uh, in, in marbles and stuff like that. This is next level. I need to right. start, you know, with this but, and I don't know where it's going to go. Right. But, uh, but, but I really feel that a new book is opening, not a chapter, it's a new book opening now. I agree. Yeah. I think, well, then what that's going to do is enable anybody with an idea then if they can afford it, they can buy a printer and a slab and go, I'm going to make a sculpture and they become a sculpture, but because of their 3D printer model, if you will. Well, guys, you can make money for those. If you do something great, oh, okay. you know, if you, if you make one good design and you, yeah. you have a lot of additions and it's popular, you know, it becomes yeah. popular because if it's yeah. good, you can make a lot of money, shit of money like from this. The guy that makes the big uh, silver mouses, you know, the abstract macrons, yeah. I think. Yeah. Sells those all over the world. They're everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same type of thing. I listen. I, I think this, the technology is cool. I'm, I'm all for it. I love to learn this stuff, even though, according to statistics, we're dead and we don't learn anything, but we know more than the young kids. What can I tell you? Um, but I love this 3D stuff. I've been watching it. Um, I'm very fascinated when they build homes because to me, it's yeah, sort of like yeah, the homes are, are yeah, and if they can make and crazy designs, and, I mean, crazy yeah. designs, guys, we can do whatever, what the hell you want whatever because there's no limitation like it used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is so, this is going to be a revolution. There are going to be a lot of revolutions uh, right well, now. You know? Civil wars too, I think. Yeah, but um, yeah. with the uh, with the uh, with with the three D printing, the one thing that I did like is I like the house had no right angles. It was all curves. It's like instead yeah, of making yeah, a right yeah. angle house, everything was a curve, and everything was, I was like that. Yeah. That was but just the, very well, appeasing. That's an arch architect's dream, that is, because yeah, that's the making nice curve. Thing. And, and, and yeah, and it's architect's nice. dreams, but but you know, I study interior design, and and uh, yeah. I, I remember when with our first you know semester or something, we started design you know curves and stuff like this, yeah. and the, and the professor was there. Yeah, it looks nice, but go build it. Can you yeah, build, yeah. It? build it? Yeah. How and much will it cost? And, and how, how are you going to arrange yeah. interior design? Because imagine you have a curved yeah. wall. How are you going to put the furniture? How are you going to have a, a kitchen? <laughs> 3D, 3D, all 3D printed. But 3D printed. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, when I'm just thinking about yeah. it, you're going to have everything. It's just, there's something about when, I, when they showed the house and they were showing how it took like a two days to build the 3D printer and the guys come in and do all the other stuff. It was just very cool when they were doing, like they were 3d printing stuff for the inside of the house as well you know not so much the furniture because furniture they you know everybody makes crazy stuff but just other things that they were making i was like that's fascinating so i do think that that is going to be um the 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 future especially since now we're going to kick out 11 a million people um so now you don't need them now you have 3d printing so i think housing in theory should come down but it won't of course they'll charge more because you're going to be like oh look at what we're doing when it actually costs less 
they're just it'll be for more profit yeah. but i mean well, you, the house the house will be cheaper but the land will still be extortionate uh, you know, uh, land is you know you can i'm pretty sure we'll 3d print land instead of monaco and china and hong kong dumping stuff into the sea to build land we'll just 3d print land that's the next thing well yeah i well, technically speaking that's what the dutch have been doing here for years so uh, yeah i mean just down the, where we the, the nearest beach to us is about 40. did you say the nudist 40, beach the nearest beast no, okay beast, sorry uh, beast, beast is about 40 uh 40 minutes away and okay. that's all that's at the edge of europort and to get the extension to uh for the dutch government said okay you can have the extension to europort which right. makes it then probably the biggest port in Europe, just maybe Hamburg slightly, slightly, slightly larger. But you have to do something for the environment as well. So they, what they did is they, they built a huge beach, kilometers of beach, because they, oh. they, they had to get all this sand up anyway um, to put in all the foundations to build the port. So they took all the sand and they just, you know, free, 3D printed beaches. You know, just sand, oh, wow. and they do it every year as well because it disappears. The North Sea is terrible, all down right. the side of the, yeah, of the UK and certainly into Holland. Uh, within two or three years, if you have a sandy beach, it will disappear. Okay, so um, because of the way the tides move, so they go and they 3D print it every winter, so we get more sand. That's yeah, right. but uh, I, 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 I was reading some time ago about that the that, that, uh, Netherlands are not gonna make it with the climate change. Because it, the, the the water will rise anyway. Yeah, bye so bye. good seeing you. And you guys are like hey, seven feet know, under. No, we're we're a meter. We're a meter. A meter? Okay, that's three feet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you, I mean, if you go to Amsterdam, you can actually see that's like that. She's sort of on one of the official buildings. It will show you the height of the of the. Of yeah, the and it's it's yeah, a, it's, it's, a, a it's on its, it's highest, right? Yeah, it's a meter. I think a meter something on like meter three or something underwater. Isn't yeah. Venice? Venice is the same way. Venice is slowly sinking. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah. Venice and uh, Bangladesh, countries yeah, like well, that, they, are su they will be suffering. Yeah, well, yeah. What are you going to yeah. do? Uh, people will be floating. So, but I'm just Yeah, saying, and there are more than two, 200 uh, million there. And that's my point. They'll be floating. It's it's so, it's, it's like 20 greases, right? <laughs> yeah. That's like, but that's the whole thing. It's we. We, I mean, like the 3D printing could probably save the planet. I heard um, a guy the other day on television say, you know, everyone goes, let's live on Mars, let's live on Mars, let's live on Mars. And they're saying, if we can make Mars livable for humans, how about if we just take all that technology and make Earth livable for humans? Uh, DeGrasse Tyson told yeah. to, uh, said that. So, yeah, yeah. Said that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he was talking to Musk. Why don't we make uh, no, uh, Earth, Earth? Earth? Yeah, yeah. Well, Earth, Earth. But my point is, though, you know, my uh, point is that we've, in, we've invited Neil on the show and he's rejected us. Yeah. So we're very upset. But the problem, yeah. the problem, of um, course, is, is is like on the moon, for instance. Let's that's, that's just yeah. be a little bit more realistic. We can 3D print on the moon, but you have to, but the, and they're now currently testing um, because what they want to do is they want to, the, to, to grow a, a, a potato like substances because mm -hmm. the potatoes can be eaten, but also. Uh, the uh, the byproducts, one of the byproducts of the potatoes, they can actually use that as a form of um, organic cement to 3D okay. print uh, buildings, because cement itself is the most pollute one of the most polluting products on the planet. Thank you very much. Right. Um, Thank God. Uh, and, and, and you can't. Yeah, it's too heavy. You can't take all that stuff into space. So uh, yeah. they have to. So they're looking at trying to grow substances. Under, now, uh, are you saying that we went to the moon in the 60s? Is that what you're, is that your hypothesis? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. We went to Arizona, did we not? And, um, Apparently. I don't know. I still yeah. listen. I watched it when I was a kid live. No, we came, we came. We came from the moon no, in the 60s. Here to Earth. Us. It's <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. It came from the end. Well, did you, read the, did anyway. you read the thing? I was reading it this morning that there was this huge wave of excitement because they've been what? testing this this piece of rock that came from a meteorite which is like 200 million uh, miles out uh, away from us and they tested it and they yeah. found organic material on it and they thought yeah. great that's it we've found extraterrestrial life and it what turns happened? out that, that somewhere somebody 
had left a little door open or a little something open. No, I haven't story, found though. anything. And earth, and earth, earth, earth bacteria got in and it's yeah. on this on this piece of, of uh, meat. That's crap. If they found life, they're never going to tell you. Let's just be blunt. If there's little green men running around, they're not telling well, you. Well, he did tell ever. us. They told us that it was contaminated by our own uh, planet. Yeah, and, but no, uh, you, you are right, them. Stephen. If they found them, there would be uh, uh, a lot of shit in the pants in general. I tell you this. You're not, you're not, this that's is... why these Congress, these Congress hearings that they have, that's all BS. It's all crap. Exactly. The only way they're going to, listen, I'm assuming we're not the only intelligent species, whether the people are from the center of the planet, the Antarctic, another universe, a dimension, don't care. I think they've been coming here since the beginning of our known time. Not a big deal. The point is, will we ever know? I'm sure one day by mistake we will, but is, the government's not going to be the one to tell you. It's literally going to be like, oh, look, there's a, you know, a, a 20 a 20 kilometer long spaceship hovering above Earth. Oh, OK, they must be real. Then you'll know. I don't think well, I think they, I think, think find out. Do you, have you, have, by, by have the, you, have uh, you watched the giants? Because they because uh, the way they were building stuff. If you look at all those really old ancient buildings and how they put all the stones together. So I think all these mm -hmm. giants just picked them up, a bit like Lego. Oh, let's build something for the poor, poor uh, you know, poor people who live on this planet. So just a theory. For me, one one of the most interesting films about aliens was uh, yeah. the movie Arrival. Yes, because uh, because it was about uh, something different than usually is uh, talking about mm -hmm. about the communication. Right. With uh, because this is also this is really a problem. They don't speak English, we, you know. It, it's for it? sure. So we have yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> they don't speak English, N neither Greek or um, anything like that. Hey, but that doesn't make sense, Adam. Because last week on the show you said that if they'd managed to get here, nothing was it would be impossible for them. So by by if you carry that argument forward to this week, that means that they could uh, talk to us in any language that we can understand. Because they don't. Yeah, I I, I believe that they can. Kind of maybe read your mind. That's probably Ooh, really. Yeah, we got trouble but, for um, my mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. <clears throat> that'd be a lot. Of, that'd be a lot of oh, very, well, very crazy looking shopping list. Yeah. But, um, this house of pain. Here we come. So yeah. I listen. At the end of the day, well, let, them, let them read Donald Trump's mind first and see yeah, what happens no. after that. You can't read it. You can't read anything. Oh. Um, at the at the end of the day, if if they're real, good for them until they start affecting our life and if you read a book back in the 80s written by a guy named corso corso said that after the roswell crash that's where you got your fiber optics and your night vision from the alien technology that they recovered so if, if let's assume that's true if that's true then it affects our lives for mostly good so as long as it affects us in a good way um and i will say this because yeah. we always make fun of the orange man the orange man's actually doing some stuff right now where I'm like, okay, you go boy. Like, you know, with the bricks people and whatever. So I think this is going to be a very interesting next four years. It's, it's like the Mad Hatter's teacup ride at Disney. Hold on to your hat kids. It's going to be fun. Whether it's, whether it's 3d printing, whether it's going to be technology, whether it's aliens, whether it's whatever, I think the next three to five years is going to be an interesting ride technology wise with AI and 3d printing and whatnot. I think we're in for, uh, something we've never seen and i'm, I'm that i'm looking yeah for. yeah the problem is that uh, it's going extremes in both sides yeah. to the good parts yeah. and the bad part um there are but a lot the of plus, dangers on the plus the, side the, the, they have now they have now managed to make uh the world's smallest spaghetti it's a nano fibers <laughs> of spaghetti it's that not going to feed anybody <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this should be the biggest is. one, not the smallest. Look, look, they they give them the grant. They've got to do something with the money. You know what I mean? So with that, if you, you and they're filling the ants all over the internet this week, the world's smallest spaghetti, spaghetti strands. That's wow. that's I where hope, all the technology hope that's is not on, not, I hope that's on. I hope that's not on no snobs. Or you knobs that again, Steve? Would you like to say that session. again? Would you like? No, I said, no, hopefully, it won't be on no snobs or knobs on Wednesday because it's going to get the same reaction. Here is it going to get there? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's just I was reading about it this morning. You have to, you know, you have to okay. find out about this stuff. Find out what's. Uh, that's, what's uh, you know, well, that's well, crazy. we take you, you know all these people with PhDs. Um, they could be doing something useful on the planet, but what actually they're doing is they're producing nano fibered, um, nano sized pieces of spaghetti, 
and then telling the world it's the world's the smallest spaghetti ever made. There you go. That's what a good education does for you. There you go. Thank God. Well, at least Adam's going to be doing cool things with 3D art now. So we got that to look forward to. Let's and, hope. And Vicky is on Love Island with her brother. And that is wrong in so many ways. Um, and that's all. They're I'm not worried. there yet. She wrote, know, they're I not saw there the, yet. I saw the, I, but here's the best thing. The fans don't know that. We know it now that everybody knows it because you read her text to everybody. But yes, but Vicky's going to be on Love Island with her brother. The 3D printing jokes I have alone. For but that. she loves her brother. What's the problem? Okay, whoa, whoa. She's from the South. Yeah, as you know, when they get divorced, they're still brother huh. and sister. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. She's 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 going to be 3D printing Korean boyfriends. So she'll get but two but uh, guys, if, if everything started from Adam and Eve, yeah. then what? That. How? How? Yeah. How? <laughs> Yeah, I, but I, it's, I, it's, 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 I mean, Ruth the children must have had a relationship with brothers, sisters, and everything. It's, uh, <laughs> look at the, oh, look yeah, at the English royal family. That's why they have three eyes, and Charles has got ears like Dumbo. But my point is, is that I don't, first before there was Eve, there was, I think, Eve, it was either Lilith or Ruth, and Adam oh, couldn't get Vicky. along with her. No, no, seriously, if you go back to the Old Testament, you're the, the fable that you guys like to believe in. Um, there was someone before Old Eve. Testament. I thought it was you. I thought it was one of your books. The Old Testament. Yeah, we changed it to it. For us, it was just a bunch of hookers. But anyway, there was a girl that Adam couldn't get along with, and then they got rid of her because she was a little mouthy, yeah. and they brought in Eve. And Eve apparently was the one who's like, "Taste the apple, uh, taste the apple." Bada right. bing, bada boom. Did, did and he, we, probably three D printed her, and then three D printed. I mean, three D printed her, with. sure, because uh, aliens were doing it. All that's what that's what Adams do. Adams three D printing things. That's, that's why he's three D printing. That's the, yeah. that's the beginning and the end of the show. I, I, I am not go. yet three D printing. I'm just ten days. Oh, oh. Ten days. I, I just the ordered the book. <laughs> I just ordered the printer. It won't be there for ten days because he lives in the middle of nowhere. So, Ooh, look, 3D printing. Yes, David, we've seen your little, yeah. we've seen your little thing, guys. Yeah. This has been a thrill. Lot. You don't even know the excitement. If I could just explain how thrilling this was, but I won't. Um, it was good to see you both. Thank you to all our fans. Okay, for guys, watching. and we will see everybody next Monday live with Adam, who will be telling us where his 3D printer is in the world. It'll be like, find Waldo. Where's your printer? All right, now? maybe, uh, maybe it will arrive. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I first of all. They got to gear up the donkey and they got to gear up the other donkey and it's got to come across the little Aegean Sea. It's a whole problem. You may have it this time. You know, time. this is okay. This, it's not a problem. The most important is that they say it's 15 minutes from you have it, you unbox it, you put it there yeah. in 15 minutes, you print. That's the wow. new thing, actually. And this is actually that made me to make the step. Okay. And uh, 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 and it, it can it can happen to anybody now because it's not something you know that you need to spend I don't know a month to learn or right. something and blah, well, blah, I'll blah. have a, I'll have a little bet on you that you need longer than fifteen minutes. Okay, okay. I'm okay with three hours. I'm okay <laughs> with three hours. As long as it's not thirty days, I think is his point. Is yeah. You no, know, I have I have, and if you want, I will go get it. someone three D printed me a uh, a dragon. Um, and All it's right. a multicolor dragon. Hold on. Let me show you the dragon. Let me, while we're, before we leave, we're talking about three right. printing. I will show everybody. This is in the studio. Um, I don't think I've ever shown this. This was, but, but we need I, to, we need to scan you guys also. Oh, this is very go. nice. This is very this nice. Is free, oh, you free, see, this is, this is the colored one. This is the a yeah. AMS. We're not, this we're is, just, because I'm not what you call I'm not racist. I, I believe in all colors. So, anyway, this is a little it looks like an LGBTFGHIG. Uh, uh, that's it, a beautiful it, thing. It, can I tell you? It's very light, it's very cool. And it was printed by a fan. And they said, Here is a dragon for you. And I said, Thank you very much. It's got a little that's smile. It's beautiful. Yeah, there you go. So, that's great. That's, yeah. So, I thought that was very sweet that um, a fan sent us this little dragon and there's his little face there i think you can see there you go with the smile oh, you, go. you know how it it look it looks like it's uh, knitted yeah. uh knitted yeah it does it does it looks like it's Beautiful. crocheted when i yeah, first saw yeah. it i was like oh i said to myself oh cool and i literally that's what i thought oh a knitted little dragon and they were yeah. like no it's 3d printed i was like really and i said how long did it take and i think they told me it took to get this the one print i want to say they told me it took like eight hours 
from start eight to eight hours, eight hours to do that. Oh, work. that's that's cool time. That's cool time. Yeah. So yeah, so I I thought that was very cool. So there's a little there's our little three D dragon there. That's our mask. And I think I think this those are those are uh, f filaments uh, colored. It's not painted. No, no, later. This is all, this is all which like which about. which you can do also which you can do of course I, I will try both I will try everything but uh yeah well, yeah but it's 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 uh, she said that um you load in however you load it and you tell it how you want it to print and it starts printing and it does the multicolors and then there you go yeah oh, yeah, yeah there you go there's our little 3d there's our little 3d dragon mascot that we have here in the studio so it's more popular than I imagined yeah well uh, and we went you like, guys um, have something 3d printed I don't have the one thing that I will scan for sure, and I don't know what it is. It's uh, I want. I, I found it. I probably have showed you this, but no. this is a, a bone. A, 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 you look. Oh wow! Yeah, there's th this is a rock that I yeah, I couldn't take off. So uh, that's a bone and this is this is a bone, and I don't know. I found it here in Cre on Crete, but probably it's a, it's a hypo or an elephant, or because there were some small elephants here, some okay. million years yeah. ago, and uh, I don't know. I will give it. To the museum, but uh, I'm keeping it with me because I like it somehow. I don't know; it has good it. energy with dead. it. When I'm dead, I'll give it to the museum, and it's probably worth like 15 million euro. Should probably. Oh my god! Back. I'm not going to give it. No, you gotta keep it. But I'm gonna saying, keep it. I'm not going to sell it. No, you never sell it. I, for 50 million euro, I'd give it. But to but but I'm really curious to to know what it is. You know right. that that's why I'm going to give it because I want to know what the hell is that that that's animal cool. was. But if you're going to do wow. that, you got to video the whole process because when they lose yeah. it, because it's really but I need worth to, something. It's a, but you know, I, I didn't give it because I didn't uh, 3D print it yet, you see, so that I have a model. It, you can give it. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. I give it with all the detail, yeah. but I need to, to somehow to, to, to scan you guys and 3D print, of course. So you need to come sometime. Here, mm -hmm. I will do a little work with the printer. Once you figure it out, and you you 3D print your. All right, yeah. Yeah, then no we'll come and you can. 3D of print course, us. we will. I will print uh, us both and scan and, and everything. Actually, you know so what we can do? Them. You print the three of our heads, and we can have see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. Yeah. The three of us. We will right. be joined together, the heads. So there you go. And on there that bombshell. <laughs> That's it, everybody. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and like. We will see you all next Monday live at 8.30 Eastern Time and a rebroadcast later in the afternoon if you missed the show. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free. Um, and if you want uh, more information on where Adam's getting his printer, uh, it's a bamboo, B-A-M-B-U. Um, and you can YouTube. Uh, which, can which we're not sponsored for, by the way. We're, we're not sponsored that. for, but he's buying it there. Yeah. So we're just going to tell you all about it. No, um, but I, I will review it somehow. I mean, yeah, here probably, but uh, here. honest, yeah, because it's not, I bought it. I yeah. will tell what is, yeah. what are good. Although I have no idea, but uh, I will just say a uh, beginner review. Yeah, why not? Which we'll do a yeah, we'll, do it, it will, it weekend. will we'll unfold, it, it will unfold. Uh, slowly and everything, yeah. but uh, we we are not uh, forgetting um, our our digital stuff also. So no, no, At don't some worry. Point, we'll do a whole, whole Look, uh, this year I took many long breaks, but next mm -hmm. year is going to be a lot of compensation for the you know breaks. Yeah. That means we'll have lots of art to show next yeah, year. Yeah, a lot of arts. Cool. It will come back but to the original the roots. But in the meantime, we're going to break you up by going to the credits. Take right, care, everybody. everybody. We'll see you all see next, you all week. next week. Don't forget to bye like. Bye-bye. See you guys. Cheers, everybody. Bye. All right, David. Take us home. <laughs>